Fine Rioja Sangria available. Teasing essences of apple, pear, Australian finger lime, and durian. Not a problem. Could I get you a drink? Tequila Emerald, Cognac Belvoz, L'Esprit d'Escalier? Gladly. No problem. A drink for you. We have a full array of wines of unimpeachable vintage on hand. this freezing cold. Are you planning to do anything about that? When I pay this amount of money, I expect a perfectly tempered experience. I'm so sorry, sir. I really can't tell you how sorry I am. Can Next time somebody tells you to get hand-carved ice cubes with no air bubbles, you say yes, sir, and you go get them. Even if you have to run out and make them yourself. Okay? I apologize. I'm new here. I... I don't know how I can make it up to you. Thank Listen, son. Every encounter is an opportunity, and every time you make a bad impression, that's an opportunity lost. You get me? I am terribly sorry, sir. I'm still learning the ropes. Let me give you one free piece of advice, son. Selling is everything. Right now, I ain't buying shit from you. You gotta make me believe that you're not just a waiter, but the best goddamn waiter on the planet. You understand what I'm saying, Dean? You're right again, of course. Please, accept my sincere apologies, sir. I'm saying this for your own good. You get your act together because, frankly, you're the worst goddamn waiter I've met in a long time. Long time. Yes, sir. I'm so sorry. I'll try harder. I promise. Hello? Can you hear me? Uh, yeah, it's, um... Well, uh, it doesn't matter who it is. Is, um... Is this the news tip line? Well, I'm at this top secret event. Uh, I don't really know how to describe it, but... Well, it's like a, like a secret society of super rich egomaniacs that are preparing for the end of the world. What? No! No, it's not just some bullshit conspiracy theory. What, because I'm right here seeing all this crazy shit with my own eyes? What? Uh, listen, I'm gonna make this short because the signal's breaking up. Do you want the tip or not? This is like front page material. Uh, hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Hello? Oh, you've got to be bloody kidding me. It's typical. Do you smell that? Shit. The guests are going to notice and uh, I'm going to get my ass fired. I just know it. I'm sure it's fine. They're too busy playing charades. I don't know if you've noticed, but why is someone always leaving a cake in the bathroom? I know, it's the weirdest thing. Did you tell security about it? Yeah, sure. Everybody freeze. There's a cake in the bathroom and it's really really pissed off seriously it's like too strange i mean maybe some weirdos trespassing and leaving cakes behind oh it totally makes sense man we gotta stop this before it spins out of control maybe next time they'll leave flowers or chocolate and before you know it we're in a world of trouble shut up are you going to that staff thing maybe i know jamie wants me to go really good for you He's nice. 
That boy's been working out. Are you shitting me? I really need this job. I'm behind on the rent again. If the VIPs complain about the spillage, I'm fucked. You're always freaking out. Chill out. Everything will be okay. Are you shitting me? He's a total dummy. But I might go anyway. I mean, what the hell, right? Yeah. With my luck, the boss is probably on the way down to kick my ass right this minute. I mean, that spillage is not even my fault. Listen, they are totally caught up in this end of the world fantasy. They are not going to notice a damn thing. Seriously, I have this feeling that this day is just not gonna end well. It just takes one person to complain about this village and we get the boot. They never really sack anybody. They're afraid people might spill the beans on them. With my luck, the boss is probably on the way down to kick my ass right this minute. I mean, that spillage is not even my fault. You're always freaking out. Chill out. Everything will be okay. Do you smell that? Shit. The guests are gonna notice and ugh, I'm gonna get my ass fired. I just know it. I'm sure it's fine. They're too busy playing charades. We're people too, asshole. God, the sense of entitlement. Would it kill you to say please? You rude son of a bitch! Every year I tell myself that this is the last year, and yet I'm still here serving these conceited pricks. Why? Jeez, what a disgrace. That's gotta be the lousiest tip I've ever had. Man, this is a tough crowd. And I'd work the MMA circuit. What the hell is wrong with these people? They think we're losers because we wait tables to get through school. Presumptuous fools, all of you. Oh, of course I'll bring you a glass of bubbly and a jiff. How about I punch you in the face too, you bossy bitch? Oh, but of course you need some rare Scandinavian biodynamic wine that's not on the list. I completely understand, you moron. A uh, thank you would be nice. Sometimes I wonder if there's a positive relationship between wealth and assholeness. Oh, no amount of money compensates for being around these smug assholes. And yet... Here you are again, silly girl. I don't mind your bad manners, but spare me the folksy wisdom and shallow psychology. I've got a BA in sociology, for Christ's sakes. Come on, what's the deal with that stupid drink? Why can't you tell me what's in it? My friend, it's not just any old drink. We are talking about the famous Ark Society signature drink. They call it hmm. the Dragon Flame. <laughs> are you serious? That is so lame. So what's in it? Why does it matter? They don't serve it anymore because some old billionaire crapped out after having knocked down three in a drinking contest. Yeah, see, now you have my attention. Well, I can't give you the complete recipe. It's a well-kept secret. But there's a raw egg in there, hot sauce and celery, bitters, and a rare French cognac that allegedly belonged to Cardinal Richelieu. Ugh, I don't care if that bottle belonged to Colonel Sanders. I'm not drinking anything with egg, hot sauce, and celery. Oh, that's interesting. There was a time when you were more open to experimentation. Like that weekend in Berlin. Remember? Well, what's that got to do with anything? Nothing at all. Anyway, I can whip up a dragon flame for you if you like. Thanks, but... No thanks. Fine. That evening was a complete disaster. I'm glad I got wind of it before it went totally sideways. I still think he's a great chef, but don't get me wrong. He just has to shape up or <sighs> ship out, because one crazy evening makes us all look bad. When you mess up a sauce like he did, that's a warning sign. That's him holding up his hands and saying, I've got a problem, please help me. Ah, uh, Francois always gave me the cold shoulder. And I know he's got a problem with women, but some of the things he says, whew, it's not okay. Hey, I taught him everything he knows, but now I fear that I've created a monster. I mean, honestly, he's so good that it makes him reckless. I mean, you can't handle white truffles like that. That's unacceptable. I don't want to gossip, but they're saying he's hit the bottle again. It's a pity. He's so talented. You know I love Francois like my own brother, but I still think he got the truffle sauce totally wrong. You know, truffle sauce aside, you still gotta treat people right. That shit comes back to haunt you in the end. 
I was a waiter at the Iago auction in Paris, so <laughs> nothing really surprises me anymore. The thing is that these guys are a big part of the reason why planet Earth is in trouble. They should own up to that fact instead of having a good time. You know, if it wasn't for this gig, I would still be waiting at some shady nightclub in Paris and making half the money. Still, there's something odd about these people. It's almost like they look forward to the collapse. But they forget one thing. When all the little people that they despise so much check out, who'll serve them? I don't know. I think it's quite a stylish gathering, and money is money. I just feel that they should use all their money to reverse the oncoming breakdown, instead of hogging all the good stuff for some distant future paradise. Well, most of them are nice, and the tips are great. Who cares if they fancy a little role-playing? What I mean is that one of them gave me a thousand dollar tip. It's very generous, but it still feels wrong. Like, I owe him now. You know, someone told me it was food poisoning. Poor bastard just didn't have the constitution to fight it, I guess. Huh? That's not what I heard. I'm not sure if it's true, but people have been whispering that it was some kind of fall. Once you get to a certain age, well... You understand. I don't know who told you that, but it sounds like a load of BS to me. Electric shock or something? Can you believe it? Stopped his withered old heart cold. Uh-huh. Look, until we hear something official, I'm just going to assume he died of being old as sin. I heard that he burned to death. Can you imagine? That has to be the worst way to go. You're sure about that? You might as well have left out the pumpkin seeds and dried coconut meat. Oh, you did. This is a travesty. I'll get the 71 ingredients right next time. I promise. There's no rosehip in this. Why would you make this without rosehip? I'm so sorry, sir. The Commonwealth is a complicated drink. Please tell me you added sweet basil and wild Scottish strawberries. I can't believe I forgot that. I stand embarrassed by your refined palate, sir. And tell me this. Where's the saffron jujube and okra? Are there even any in there? I think I got that in there. But if you can't taste it, I'll add some more, sir. Is the council still in session? No, they've called a recess. Sophia Washington wants them to pass some kind of motion, but one of the council members is fighting her tooth and nail. Huh. Wouldn't happen to be Jebediah Block, the coal baron, would it? Yeah. How do you know? Well, I happen to know he's on the council. He's one of the original five. You know, the first people to fund the Ark Society back in 91. Plus, I just walked in on Sophia Washington screaming Block's name while beating up a pillow cushion. Oh, <laughs> she was properly pissed. Jeez. Must mean a lot to her. What's it about? What am I, paparazzi? I just work for these assholes. Same as you. Well, keep me posted, in case teeth start flying. Can do.